Hi again, everyone. Uh, welcome to Production Operations Management Chapter 4 Forecasting. Uh, in this video, we are going to deal with the linear trend model. And the earlier methods that we have discussed, the moving average, weighted moving average, and exponential smoothing, are good methods for data with no trend. And the linear trend model is good for a data with trend but no seasonality. First, let's see if the data has any trend. What I do is I highlight my years and press control and then power demand, highlight them as well. And I can insert a scatter chart with lines. And I can see that now. Uh, I also can observe that from the numbers, but the graph shows me that there is a trend upwards kind of a seasonal trend upwards but it's uh, it's a less number of data here so I think it's the textbook is uh, using this for um, for demonstration purposes we are going to keep using the same same values so we want to create uh, just draw uh, the line of best fit and then we'll take the intercept and the slope of that line and we'll just find the forecast for the next period. That's the idea. What I can do is I can just click on these dots and then right click and uh, add a trend line and show the equation, etc. But I just wanted to take the other approach and use the formulas in Excel instead. Let's just keep this graph somewhere here. So A is going to be my intercept. I'm just going to type intercept and here slope and I can calculate my intercept using the uh, the Excel function intercept and my known y's are my power demand this is my dependent variable and I only highlight the values that I have and I put a comma and I put the time periods in so instead of using the years I'm just using the, the time period values and close the parentheses voila so my intercept is 56.71 somewhere around here and my slope is again another function slope and it's using the known y's and then comma known axis uh, my independent variable is the time period it's 10.54 so my equation is y is equal to 56.71 plus 10.54 times time period so what does it mean it means that on average every year we are seeing about 10 units increase and we are starting with 50, about 56 units so the next year we are going to see another 1054 increase in our power demand so let's see if we are going to be able to uh, just draw that, this line so our linear trend forecast is the intercept and I put a dollar sign and plus the 1054 which is my slope times the power demand okay so you're uh, be careful with the dollar signs again we are not putting in a dollar sign on these because we want to use the different values but we are using a dollar size I'm sorry not C5 just this is a time period okay done so 67.25 and then we drag this down and if you want just put two decimals in the numbers and we are expecting that in 2017 our sales would be a power demand I'm sorry would be 141 I think I'm gonna stop uh, the videos for for today after this because I'm I start to make mistakes guys okay so now let's just maybe delete this chart and put this the new chart instead the year highlight them 
power demand highlight them forecast and then insert a scatter chart with straight lines and markers so here it is these are our forecast and what you see here is these are just the small differences that we are seeing are the the deviations that we have <clears throat> and what would be the power uh, demand for 2018 if the trend continues in this way we are going to add another 1054 on top of 2017 value and we are going to find the 2018 forecast etc if the same pattern continues so this is the linear trend forecast method uh, what you need to do is you need to also add the MAD, MAPD and MSE calculations here for the linear trend demand uh, uh, linear trend forecast as well thanks for watching